Good evening, this is Dave Foster here. Um, this evening we're going to look at uh, one of the Beatitudes found in Matthew 5 and verse 6, which says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. St. Augustine once said, Thou madest us for thyself, and our heart is restless until it rest in thee. The Bible in, from Isaiah puts it like this, why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Hearken diligently to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me, hear that your soul may live. In Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 12 and 13. My people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed out cisterns for themselves broken systems that can hold no water. And it talks about hungering and thirsting, and I don't know if you've ever been thirsty or hungry. You become almost useless. There's not much you can do. You just lie around. And we ask to hunger and thirst after, after righteousness. But what does that mean? If we're honest with ourselves and we look at ourselves this evening, many of us have our soul that is hungry and our heart that is thirsty. You, you feel an insatiable longing for something. You are restless. And almost everywhere you turn, the grass is greener than where you stand. And the great tragedy that even uh, the, this is the Spirit of God beckoning you to Himself, we turn away. We try to fill the void with things that we think will do the job. Everything we turn to turns to ashes. Um, we drink at broken systems and we eat bread that does not, satis does not satisfy. And Jesus in this beatitude has something to say. There's this universal experience of an inconsolable longing and we would need to hunger and thirst after righteousness and righteousness is being pure in, in heart before God who alone can see the heart To hunger and thirst for righteousness is to possess an act of spiritual longing. Psalm 42 verse 2 says, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? This desire is not passive, it is a fervent seeking. A servant who hungers and thirsts for righteousness is the same one who seeks God's kingdom and his righteousness before and above everything else. Further on in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, you'll find that verse. The servant is blessed because he or she experiences satisfied heart, a satisfied heart. And the servant can say, it is well with my soul. And as we contemplate and meditate about that and think on these words, Trust that God will bless you, that you and your family will be safe. Thank you.